Professor Juguna Dungu, a very good friend, and now the Cabinet Secretary of the National Treasury. Con congratulations, and uh, great to have you back here. Great to have you back here. And uh, of course, we have uh, colleagues from uh, KNBS and Donna Roboto. The, the DG isn't here, but we have a representative. Tamara Cook, a friend, researcher, and uh, I guess a pusher as well. You've done very well with your team. Professor Tavnit Suri, who we just saw on the screen there, we presume she's still watching this, wherever she is. Abil Olaka, the CEO of um, Kenya Bankers Association. Other CEOs present, policymakers, friends, researchers, good morning to you all. I actually see some people who are in the fintech world also here, which is excellent, so good morning to you all. It is a pleasure to host you this morning on the last day of the four-day Financial Inclusion Statistics Conference. As you know, the conference opened with a seminar at the University of Nairobi for graduate students from all universities. The seminar showcased the successful research papers on financial inclusion following a competition that saw 11 papers or 11 students submit their papers. The best paper following rigorous reviews has been selected and we have now just witnessed um, the, the three top papers and congratulations to all of you who participated and of course much more to those that won the, the competition. I want to again thank Professor Tavnit Suri and colleagues at uh, FSD Kenya, KNBS and CBK for making all that possible. I also want to express my gratitude to you, Cabinet Secretary, for accepting our invitation to be the chief guest today to officially launch the first Fin Access Household Survey County Report. So the stress there is county, county report. This is a milestone in the history of financial inclusion measurement in Kenya whose initial steps date back to 20, I mean 2006. Indeed, the CS is a champion of uh, financial inclusion and his contribution to furthering an inclusive financial ecosystem in Kenya and beyond is evident. Let me give a brief background for the benefit of those interacting for the first time with the work on financial inclusion. The Central Bank of Kenya, in collaboration with KNBS, that's the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, and uh, Financial Sector Deepening Kenya, FSD Kenya, has been conducting financial inclusion household surveys, otherwise known as fin access household surveys, every two or three years since 2006. The objective is to measure the trends and dynamics in the financial inclusion ecosystem reflecting technological innovations, changing demographics and consumer behavior, policy changes, and even economic shocks to consumers. The indicators used are assessed along the access, usage, quality, and impact dimensions of financial inclusion and how these affect the lives and, and well-being of Kenyans. The two the 2021 Fin Access Survey, for the first time, measured these indicators across all 47 counties, thus bringing out uniqueness and, challenging, um, and challenges affecting different counties. The report also focused more on the quality of financial services and products by providers as well as the impact on or welfare derived from using such services and products. Measurement of the latter dimension has raised policy discussion on the relationship between financial inclusion, financial health, and financial consumer protection, each proxied by a composite index. I'm happy to note that this conference has attempted to disentangle these concepts and therefore provide policy responses to some of the long-standing 
questions. The top line findings from this service continue to provide opportunities for policymakers and researchers to extract value from this survey data sets. It's again, it's this background that CBS, sorry, CBK, KNBS, and FSD Kenya launched a series of activities to promote financial inclusion objectives. This included deep dive studies in seven thematic areas, tracker service on micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises, FinAccess survey, county report, and the, fin and the financial inclusion in Kenya research paper competition. This is a testament that a lot of work is going on in this area. The three partner institutions, CBK, KNBS, and FSD Kenya, have pushed hard to generate value from the FIN access survey data set, not only, from, not only with respect to policy, but also identifying opportunities for private sector players to provide suitable financial services and products. Following the 2021 FIN Access Household Survey, the top line findings were published um, on, in December 2021, which ushered in public discourse on various policy questions. This is very good. In February 2022, the three partner institutions sought experienced researchers to conduct FIN Access deep dives. Over the last three days, the commissioned local and international researchers have presented their high quality research outputs. These papers have very rich policy and other proposals touching on role of digital finance, financial health of users, financial consumer protection, green finance, and the gender question in financial inclusion. I urge you all to take time and read these studies as they provide very useful information on current topical issues. By the way, I'm particularly, um, I noted that uh, there are about 120 people in the room now, but actually in the course of the conference, we had more than 1,000 people every day online. So this really shows you the interest of uh, all researchers on this topic. So don't judge um, a book by its cover. You know? So there are a lot of people that are watching us online, and uh, I think it shows the interest that they have on this. So the Fin Access Survey County Report, soon to be launched by the CS, is also a high value output that counties will find as a reference document to address some of the challenges facing citizens in, this, in their counties. Now we could go ahead and pose questions, but I think at this moment it's better not to pose questions. It's probably better to go back and sit there and watch and listen, etc. So I think it's probably best that I stop here and uh, we'll very soon invite the, um, the, the CS to deliver the keynote, uh, the keynote address and uh, also launch the Fin Access Survey County Report. But before I finish, before I do that, I want to thank all those who have worked hard to bring us to this, uh, to this conference and to make it a, a success. I again, thank Tavnit for her invaluable contribution and encouragement. Of course, Tamara and McDonald in KNBS have gone beyond the call of duty in guiding the financial inclusion agenda. I also thank the, our colleagues in all these institutions. Um, before I invite the CS, I think all of us know him. Um, Professor Juguna Dungu is not, is a very, is, let's just say is a known quantity in our space, right? Um, we all know that he actually he preceded me as the governor of the central bank. He was there for eight years, did an excellent job there. Um, before that, he was in the University of Nairobi, where he was uh, uh, doing excellent research. I note um, his, uh, his area of study, his interest, but he's also very interested in financial inclusion, as we all know. Um, he has done a lot of research on financial inclusion and other topics. But also, not only while he was in CBK, but also 
while he has been at AERC, the African Economic Research Council, where he, in the second iteration, he was the head of that, uh, um, of that institution. Of course, now he's come back home, yeah? uh, not only in the sense of uh, the questions, research questions. We look forward to collaborating with you in your interest, and uh, to me, I'm particularly delighted because this is your first public event. All the others you've been with other people. Um, so this is your first public event as cabinet secretary. We are honored. It is now my pleasure to invite our friend, the cabinet secretary of the National Treasury, Professor Njuguna Dungu, to make his remarks and officially launch the Finaxe Survey County Report. Karibu Waziri.